Okay, class, today we're in lesson 1.2, apply order of operations. Before, you evaluated algebraic expressions and used exponents. Now, you will use the order of operation to evaluate expressions. Key vocabulary, order of operations. Mathematicians have established an order of operations to evaluate an expression involving more than one operation. Key concept, order of operations. Step one, evaluate expressions inside grouping symbols. Step two, evaluate powers. Step three, multiply and divide from left to right. Multiply and divide from left to right. Multiply and divide from left to right. Step four, add and subtract from left to right. Add and subtract from left to right. Add and subtract from left to right. Now, you may know this as PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, that's step one, grouping symbols. Powers, that would be exponents, that's the E. Multiply and divide from left to right from left to right, that's step three. Add and subtract from left to right, left to right, that will be step four. Example one, evaluate expressions. Evaluate the expression 27 divided by three squared times two minus three. Step one, there are no grouping symbols, so go to step two. In other words, there's no parentheses. Step two, evaluate the powers. So now I'm going to rewrite 27 divided by 3 squared times 2 minus 3. That's going to equal to 27 divided by, I do my powers. It tells me to evaluate the powers. So 3 squared is 9. I rewrite the times 2 and the minus 3. The next step it tells me to do is divide. Step three, multiply and divide from left to right. Multiply and divide from left to right. So now I have 27 divided by 9 times 2 minus 3. That's that step right there. I'm rewriting it. So now I divide because I'm going from, I'm doing multiplication and division from left to right. So 27 divided by 9 would give me 3. So now I got 3 times 2 minus 3. Now I'm going to multiply. So now I got 3 times 2 minus 3. 3 times 2 is 6. So now I have 6 minus 3. And my last step is to subtract. So 6 minus 3 is 3. So the value of the expression 27 divided by 3 squared times 2 minus 3 is equal to 3. All right, now some of you may have been confused because you're used to following PEMDAS, but you're not used to following the rule from left to right. Notice right here how we had 27 divided by 9 times 2. PEMDAS says multiplication and division from left to right. Some of you would take that to mean that multiplication has to come first. No, that's not it. That's why they say from left to right. So in other words, the order of the division and multiplication doesn't matter. You simply, when you see multiplication and division, you simply go left to right. So here, if I'm going left to right, division would come first and multiplication would come second. Sometimes multiplication is first and division is second. But based on this example, multiplication and division from left to right Division is first, multiplication is second. So I must say 27 divided by 9. And that's going to give me 3. Then I say 3 times 2. Now had I got here and I said 9 times 2 was 18, I would have been incorrect. So once again, multiplication and division from left to right does not matter the order. Grouping symbols. Grouping symbols such as parentheses and brackets indicate 
that the operations inside the grouping symbol should be performed first. For example, to evaluate 2 times 4 plus 6, you must multiply first, then add. To evaluate 2 parentheses 4 plus 6, close parentheses, you add first, then multiply. So in other words, the parentheses says do this first. Do what's inside there first. And it will be the same thing if you have brackets. Example 2. Evaluate expressions with grouping symbols. Evaluate the expression 7, parentheses, 13 minus 8, close parentheses. So the first thing you do is 13 minus 8. 13 minus 8 is 5. And then you bring the 7 along. Now 7 times 5 is 35. B. 24 minus parentheses, 3 to the second power plus 1. You bring the 24 over. You evaluate inside here first. Now you would do your powers first. Evaluate the power. That would be first. So 3 squared is 9. Or 3 to the second power is 9. Now you have 9 plus 1. So add within the parentheses. What's 9 plus 1? 10. Now you're going to subtract. 24 minus 10 is 14. I want you to notice that in algebra, notice all your steps are in blue. They tell you exactly what to do in blue. So oftentimes what you do is you read the problem, and if you're stuck trying to figure it out, just go over here in the blue and it tells you what to do. All right, let's go to example C. C, we have two bracket. See, that's a bracket symbol. Bracket means the same as parentheses. It means the same as parentheses. So it's two, two bracket 30 minus parentheses 8 plus 13 parentheses and then a closed bracket. Now notice what it says. Add within the parentheses first. So we're going to get right here. We're going to say 8 plus 13. That's going to be 21. So now the parentheses are gone. And all I have now is the bracket. Now the bracket becomes the parentheses. So I got 2 times 30 minus 21. And now remember that 30 minus 21 is on the inside. So what's 30 minus 21? 9. 2 times 9? 18. Don't forget, the brackets are actually parentheses. Now some of you may be asking, well, why is it if they're parentheses, why aren't they making the parentheses when you first put them down, like right here? Why use a bracket there instead of using the parentheses there? Because if you try to put parentheses there, all right, it can get somewhat confusing. In other words, see how I got parentheses and I got parentheses there? All right, see how that looks almost like the same thing? You can't tell what's going on. You can't tell the beginning or the end. But if it were written with brackets, all right, you get a better idea of what you're looking at. So here I can tell that this is the beginning and this is the end. And I can tell that the parentheses are around these two numbers right here. So that tells me to do these two first. Okay, that's why that's the case. So once again, they use brackets to clear up confusion when you're working with parentheses or you have or you have more than one set of parentheses. Okay, now another rule to remember to help you avoid errors. When grouping symbols appear, like here, when grouping symbols appear inside other grouping symbols, work from the innermost grouping symbol outward. So innermost, and then you're working outward. Fraction bars. A fraction bar can act as a grouping symbol. Evaluate the numerator and denominator before you divide. So in other words, you got 8 plus 4 over 5 minus 2. 8 plus 4 divided by 5 minus 2. Well, that's equal to 8 plus 4 divided by 5 minus 2. That's another way of writing this same thing. So we evaluate first. 8 plus 4 is 12. 5 minus 2 is 3. And then we divide. So 12 
divided by 3 is 4. Example 3. Evaluate an ex algebraic expression. Evaluate an algebraic expression. Evaluate the expression when x is equal to 4. So we have 9 times x over 3 times x plus 2. Well, that's going to equal to 9 times 4 because we're going to substitute 4x. So 9 times 4 over 3 times 4 plus 2. We're going to add within the parentheses. 4 plus 2, that's 6. So now we have 9 times 4 over 3 times 6. Now we multiply. 9 times 4, 36. 3 times 6, 18. Now we divide. 36 divided by 18, 2. Example 4, standardized test practice. A group of 12 student volunteers to collect litter for one day. A sponsor provides three juice drinks and two sandwiches for each student and pays $30 for the trash bags. The sponsor's cost in dollars is given by the expression 12 times 3J plus 2S plus 3, excuse me, plus 30. 12 parentheses 3 times j plus 2s, close parentheses, plus 30, where j is the cost of a juice drink and s is the cost of a sandwich. A juice drink costs $1.25. A sandwich costs $2. What is the sponsor's cost? Solution. We write down the original equation that was given in the problem. So we get 12 times 3 times j plus 2s plus 30. Substitute 125 for j and 2 for s. All right, so where I see j, I'm going to put 125. So 3 times 125 plus where I see s, I'm going to put the 2. So that's going to be 2 times 2. So first, I'm going to multiply within the parentheses because I got multiplication and multiplication within, I, I do what's in parentheses first, and then I multiply first, not add. Remember PINDOS, multiply first, not add. So 3 times 125 is 3.75. 2 times 2 is 4. I bring that 30 down, and I put that 12 back in front, making sure I have my parentheses. Now I'm going to add within the parentheses. 3.75 plus 4 is 7.75. So I got 12 times 7.75 plus 30. Now I'm going to multiply. 12 times 7.75 is 93. I bring the 30 down. Now I'm going to add 93 plus 30. Well, 93 plus 30 is 123. So the sponsor's cost is $123. The correct answer is B, $123.